Laker Nick Young, also Iggy Azalea's fiance, maybe now ex-fiance, was caught on video saying that he cheated on Iggy Azalea. So this was all set up by D'Angelo Russell, his teammate, his friend, maybe now ex-friend. And what happened was D'Angelo was video recording, secretly video recording, because you can clearly hear when you listen to their conversation that Nick Young had no idea that he was being recorded. Listen. Your doctor. Right now? Yeah. Phone call will go down yeah, nice night. How old was you? At nine, right here on this I hated being told How, was what you like? Uh, you was 30, she was 19? Those legs for days, so now Hell, bro. I don't know, bro. just a few years, she lied. What about what about Amber Rose? You ain't never tried? Uh, huh? Okay, so now we have all these other people coming out, sources close to both Nick Young and D'Angelo Russell saying that number one, that uh some people are defending Nick Young, saying that this was just another prank, that they play pranks on one another all the time, and this was a prank gone wrong. He never expected it to get out. Other people are saying he uh, Snapchatted it or sent it to somebody and that person leaked it. Other people are saying he leaked it. So we really don't know what exactly happened and how it became public. But what we do know, according to other sources, that he's now being ostracized from the team. And it has impacted that recent game, too, right? It was like one of their, their most the, the biggest the blowout. Biggest the loss. biggest loss biggest for loss. the Los Angeles Lakers. The history. biggest oh. loss. And apparently when they do like their team lunches, their team dinners, and D'Angelo Russell sits down at the table, just like all the mean girls, they get up. They get away. Mm. Okay, so what did you guys think? <sighs> Crazy. Where oh, do you guys man. lie in this? Because people are like, okay, well, you know, Listen, F Dan. Don't F cheat on your girlfriend. Right. Yeah, don't cheat don't on your cheat fiance. On your yeah, just don't do that. But, but don't rat out your friend and yeah, make it public rat either. Out your but let's, I, I, we don't know for sure. It, it does look really bad for D'Angelo Russell that this was <laughs> recorded. It really does. But it's, I've, you know, I know that I've been in positions before, my friends have been in positions before where they have maybe Snapchatted something and sent it to me knowing, like, hoping that I wouldn't send it to someone else. You know, like, I, there, I'm just saying there could be more to the story. I think it was a prank gone wrong. I do. I, I don't think, think, yeah, I don't think that, because this is really stupid for D'Angelo uh, Russell, who's a new know. guy in the league. It's so awkward. I don't know. Uh, you awkward. know, yeah. like, did, for the him press, just, did anyone watch the press conference last night? Please fill us in. Oh, my God. It's such an awkward press conference. Because they won on a last second shot. Uh -huh. Not by any of the guys involved. And so it was like, yes, can we get D'Angelo Russell to come up for the press conference? And he's like, you look at this guy's face and he literally says like, I've been as sick over this as you can possibly get. And I've apologized and I understand yeah, I if think he does not forgive me, like I've done everything possible. I don't, he's like, and, and believe it or not, believe it or don't, he's like, I don't know how it got out. I didn't send it to anyone, and I'm not going to say I've been hacked. But either way, like, listen, I've been that guy who's trying to be funny, and it went wrong. But, like, this is the kind of thing, like, in the NBA, he like, got you're booed. on a team. He got, he got booed. booed. He's, he's, he's going to have to game. be traded. Yeah, he might have to be traded. I mean, I feel like if you're the young player on the team, don't you want the older players to like you and mm -hmm. respect you? Those are like your big brothers. Why would you even mess with that? Even I if you're doing he, a prank. I think he was, the, kind the of questionable. culture in the locker room is full of pranks, like gnarly full of pranks. Yeah. And so I, to give him the benefit of the doubt and to be polemic, I really do think that he was playing a prank mm -hmm. not to excuse it. Um, and I think that it, it got out of hand and it, it somehow got in the wrong hands and it blew up in his face. And now he's got a, Lying it like that so, sucks so bad. But this kind, there, this stuff happens in locker rooms. Like we're like bad, bad things. Like players sleeping with their teammates, wives, and Tony girlfriends. Tony Parker, who was married to Eve Longoria, slept with his teammate's wife at the time, um, and that's why the relationship with Eve Longoria and Tony Parker, did, you know, nice. ended. And you know, I'm a huge Spurs fan, so that hurt me for multiple mm -hmm. reasons. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just saying that this isn't, you know. This isn't no, new, but we haven't actually seen it been is, so documented. Is this before. overshadowing though? Nick Young cheating on Iggy Azalea. I feel like a, everyone's a little talking bit. about D'Angelo Russell, and not him. That sucks. Poor girl. She did tweet. I should read yeah. her tweet. She tweeted, "Hmm, I see D'Angelo Russell's trending." Dot dot Ugh. dot. I actually liked his film. Thanks, bro. Yeah. What do you good think that she out. found out? What do you I think, think it's that good means? looking out. She's stoked that she found out. I would be stoked if what I found out. I wouldn't want it to be so public, but I would be glad yeah. that I found out. What do you think about like when I cause when I hear it, it's like, oh, basketball players are gonna do that. Like they're 
professional teammates. They were professional athletes, and like it's they're just gonna sleep around. Uh, but what is, is like that I, that's a terrible it's thought. So like, sad, but it's I know. True. How did they win it's that true. war? They won the war of like morals, where it's just like, ah, here's a pass. Here's so here's two hundred fifty thousand dollars a game, and here's a pass to sleep with whoever you want. So and you, I'm not gonna get that mad at it. Because like, because it's, they're on the road a lot. Because I hate even like generalizing <laughs> all professional basketball players as cheating on their. And the guys others. who the that. guys who are faithful to their wives get shit for it. Yeah, crazy. It, it's 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 a different culture, and then people will justify it by saying they're on the road so much. They have all these women throwing themselves at well, them. Well, so does Iggy. Probably she's on the road a lot too. Yeah. she probably has a lot of men that have expressed interest in them. And now I'm like, I hope Iggy's getting hers. Yeah, Brett, <laughs> I like it. Yes. Go, Iggy, you go. This get is it. this story is developing. I think we're going to be talking about this in weeks to come. I think there. I think we've just kind of seen the beginning of what's going to happen. Tip of the iceberg. Yeah, tip mm -hmm. of the iceberg. Interesting. I think. Shit's going to come out. You heard it from Grace's mouth. Shit everybody. is going to hit out. the fan. Yeah. Tip okay, you guys, please <laughs> share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.